Hey guys, what's up? I just want to tell you a story. A story. During my senior year of high school, um, I played a lot of video games. Like I always loved it, but around the late nineties is where. You got to see things in 3Ds, and they they weren't just little minuscule little dots on the TV. It was past that stage of Nintendo and Atari. You could actually see what the guys look like. And I remember Senior Cut Day, all I did was stay home and play video games. And that's all I would spend my little allowance on. My grandmother would give me um, a couple of dollars and I would say fit in the back of my pouch. Some, something that I still do today. There's something called spending money and there's something called saving money. And I had to divide the two sometimes when I would get hungry, bro. The saving money would become spending money. Yep, yep, yep. But for the most part, I tried to keep it down the line. And then again, I would show off because guys would give me a break. Guys that knew me because I hung out with a lot of Italian dudes that were really, really cool. And a lot of Spanish guys. And they would treat me for a soda, treat me for a pizza, treat me for a knish. And I would show off with the two little dollars that I had. And I'd be like, bro, I got it. I got it. Being like, oh, man, I wish I would have just accepted it and just let them buy me the lunch. Because I really didn't have it like that. But, um, yeah, you know, I rocked the shit out of my Nintendo 64. I would have an extension cord. And put it in my bed. I just lived in my bed and played video games. And my grandfather would speak in the Cape Verdean dialect and say, Oh, Doge, Doge in Divia Inventa is cosa, which loosely translated, Oh, God, God should never have invented this stuff. And you know, my PlayStation was awesome. Even though PlayStation at the time, their um their wrestling games and fighting games didn't look all that great. Nintendo sixty four had it over on um PlayStation at this time. It was not until PlayStation two came around then they won the war. But the first PlayStation, I loved it because the video clips and you. You could play CDs. That was my first CD player. I rocked the shit out of Britney Spears. Everybody knows I'm a big Britney fan. I rocked the shit out of it. And um, those days were just awesome, man. Really, really awesome. And um, you see some of that coming back with the classic systems. But I just want to say, in my room... I had the latest systems like a uh, PlayStation, uh, Nintendo 64, and then downstairs I had, I would switch it back and forth between a Genesis or a Super Nintendo and a Nintendo. But um, Genesis was really hard because they had that little portal that you put the the plug that goes into the TV in the back of the system. And for some reason, that little joint, that little joint area where you plugged in the wire into the systems, that was the one flaw of the Genesis where it would loosen up after time where you would move the system. Then all of a sudden, the picture popped away. I had like three or four Genesis I mean, my first Genesis, what my granddad did was he, um, he's more like my dad. He raised me because 
it's just hard to explain. But um, anyway, I'm grateful for him, him and my grandmother. And in later years, they uh, are the key factors of my addiction to video games. Because without their sponsorship, I would never have it. Um, just moving the back of the system back and forth was um, a pain in the ass because it would cut off. So he would bend the wire and tape it to his own self with duct tape, and that would kind of work. Um, I would find myself selling some of my old games or my old toys to my brothers and sisters because we lived in separate houses and, you know, we had different fathers because he's a douchebag asshole piece of shit, but that's beside the point. But um, um, I would sell it to them and try to make money in school so that I could get some of the latest stuff or buy back some of the stuff I had that I lost when I was a kid. But I just live and breathe for games. That's why I love YouTube and all these games and channels and Austin Creed, which you know as Xavier Woods. That's why part of my um, YouTube channel is also dedicated to games. And, um, you know, it was a fun senior year, you know. It was hard being a disability and being an outcast and being the way people treat you and feeling like, you know. But at least I could say on that aspect, I was a normal kid. So I'm going to let you guys go. Take care. God bless.